Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is uh, Thursday Night Ryobi Talk with me, Edgar Martinez. Uh, if you guys are new around here, I like the two um, Ryobi tool updates, unboxings, reviews, and tool deals. So this is just a live stream, kind of just doing for fun, hanging out with everybody, and um, kind of ask questions uh, back and forth, and hopefully we get some viewers here today. So we're just waiting for the chat to fill in a little bit. Hey, it looks like we got a couple people, eight people in so far. Hey, how you doing, everyone? Welcome to the live chat. Hey, what's up? What's up, uh, poor conservative? How you doing, man? I just saw your comment that you say you're gonna try to make it. I appreciate you making the time. Axel, Michael, how you doing, Michael Lopez? Anthony from North Florida, cool. Hey, actually, if you guys don't mind, um, you know, so I can you know try to remember hopefully ahead of time. But uh, where you guys are from, I, I love learning where everyone's from. Rodney, hey Rodney, how you doing, buddy? Simply stupendous. That's good. Yeah, and feel free to um, chat in, in the chat. Go ahead and uh, you know guys talk to each other and everything like that. So uh, we appreciate the community here, Utah. I'm glad you could be here too, Axel. Rodney, Missouri. Okay, very cool. Hopefully it's nice weather for you guys out here. It's um, being in San Diego. It's actually been raining a lot. So hopefully it's uh, nice in your neck of the woods. Azusa, Wyoming, awesome. Welcome, welcome, guys. So we're doing Thursday night Ryobi talk. Uh, Jersey says hi. Hey, hey, Jersey. Wow. So I appreciate you. Um, so it's what nine, almost nine forty-five your time, Ohio. Russell Sparks, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking away time from your uh, busy evenings. Uh, you know, spending time with family or everything. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. So we're just doing Ryobi Talk Thursdays. I don't know, maybe this is a new segment I'm going to probably start um, doing where we can just kind of hang out, talk Ryobi, um, see what kind of projects people are working on, and, uh, you know, just just talk and hang out. Ronnie, gorgeous 85. Wow, that's nice. I think we were in the 60s today here in San Diego. It's been raining a lot, so give me one sec here. Just left Bend, Oregon, home. Hold on, Danny. I'm, I'm live streaming right now. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so I, I haven't posted in a little while, and I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys here and just give you some updates and whatnot. So I've just been really busy uh, with work. And if you guys if you guys watched my previous video um, where my lovely assistant was helping me out, it was actually her birthday, and uh, we've just been prepping for her birthday party this weekend. So uh, just busy, busy time, family stuff and whatnot. Uh, but... Um, so today actually marks one week since Ryobi Day started. It started last Thursday, uh, May 16th, and I've had a ton of comments, people. And, uh, um, oh, Axel, thank you. I appreciate that. I'll, I'll definitely send her um, the happy birthday wishes there. But basically, so we've had Ryobi Days for a week, and uh, there's been a ton of videos on YouTube on it. So I thought about doing a, a Home Depot tour, you know, walkthrough, you know, walkthrough or anything like that, but I wasn't sure if you guys had ever seen a bunch of that, so kind of wanted to switch it up. But I want to ask you guys, what, what have you gotten so far? Um, I know some, some comments I've seen are uh, the big ticket item was probably the trim router and the inverter, which I think were my top uh, picks for me personally. And then it seems like a lot of people as well. So I um, posed the question to you guys. What did you guys get? Axel got the inverter. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah, so I, I had a feeling, so when we posted that video last week, uh, when Ryobi Day started early, uh, I, I had a feeling that that was definitely going to be a topic. One, it was brand new. It had only come out, I think, maybe a week or two before. And um, I know I lot of, had a lot of people interested. Pete from Corona. Hey, what's up, Pete? Jigsaw. You got a Jigsaw Russell. That's awesome. Next check, I'm broke. <laughs> no, I, I hear you, man. Yeah, I, I understand. So, um you know, times, times are tough sometimes, so I, I hear you. So I haven't been able to buy anything just yet. I still haven't decided what I want to get. Um, kind of leaning towards the inverter, maybe a jigsaw. Still not too sure myself. Uh, just got the banners today and free trim router. Router number 12 in my shop. Dang, poor conservative. Uh, poor conservative, remind me, you uh, have the guitar shop. Is that right? I think I remember seeing your chats, uh, your comments before. So that's, that's awesome. I, I think that's incredible. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can find any more chats here. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. No, I appreciate you letting me know. That's that's amazing. It sound, um, and I think you were commenting on one of my videos about the um, the belt sander. So that's that's really cool that you 
have been working on making guitars. My, my dad uh, loves playing guitar. He's been playing guitar since he was a kid. So uh, I, I've grown up around guitars. Don't play on myself, but I understand the, the beauty and the, uh, the uh, art craft that is. So um, one other little update on the channel. So last week I had announced the, um, the giveaway winner, Casino Man. He's never replied to me yet. So Anthony, Home Depot Tours. Oh, you do like them. Okay, cool. I, I appreciate that. So um, maybe we'll, we'll do something like that. Uh, Shane got the router. Great tool, very easy to use. Yeah, that's, that's nice to hear. So I, uh, I have a router from Makita. It's a corded one that my sister gave to me for Christmas last year. So that's kind of why I'm still using that and I haven't got the Ryobi one. But um, you know, I, I didn't want to say no to my sister. But oh, last guy. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. You guys, um, give a, a shout out to the last guy. That was really awesome here. So Axel, yeah. So um, sorry, I'm kind of getting losing track. I'm trying to read comments and, and, uh, and uh, do that. Hey, thank you so much, last guy. I really appreciate it helping me out there. That's awesome. Uh, Tom got the Brad Nailer for and the recip and the free recip for the 90. Yeah, so the Brad Nailer I think had went it was 129 and then they dropped it down to 99 bucks. So uh, that's awesome. Peter, I think Peter said, "What's a super chat?" So a super chat is basically where someone uh, donates um, a, a amount of money and um, their comment gets pinned to the top of the chat. And um, that helps me, it helps the channel out. And, uh, and again, super appreciate it. It's not required to chat with me, guys. You can do the free chats as well. But when you guys do that, um, you guys get a definitely a special shout out. And then again, to the other com uh, people in the chat, you know, give that guy a shout out too. So uh, that's really nice of him. How do you live with just one? I can't live with, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, uh, you know, I've, I haven't, um, I've been using it here and there to, to kind of like make boxes and, and things for the wife. And she, she and I, she uses it a lot too, but uh, having a battery powered one definitely seems way better, uh, more convenient just cause I hate, I, get, I hate being tied down by the cord. So for Ryobi, I only have, I think the corded belt sander and the corner cat sander for cord. So I'm trying to go as cordless as possible. So that trim router is definitely, uh, top of the list for me as well. Michael S. Uh, wishing everyone a great weekend party. Yes, Memorial Day weekend. So if we have any international views, which I, I, I do occasionally do, so I, I appreciate the international community. So here in the U.S., this coming weekend is Memorial Day weekend where we honored uh, fallen uh, armed force me uh, members, men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice uh, to keep the U.S. the great country it is. So uh, we honor them and we respect them and uh, we hope everyone has a great and safe, uh, happy Memorial Day. So uh, where was I? Oh, the giveaway. I, forgive me, I, I know I was uh, reading the comments here, but the giveaway. So Casino Man hasn't replied to me. I, I commented on his comment, his winning comment, I think three times now. I told him if he doesn't give back to me by the end of this week, so probably by Saturday, um, I will pick another uh, another winner just because, uh, you know, it's not fair. Uh, you know, to everyone else, uh, I definitely tried. Casino Man, if you see this video, please, please comment uh, on that video. Um, I want to mail you out that $30 gift card. It's still available. Um, but if you don't, just for sake of fairness, uh, I will offer it to a new winner. And maybe we'll do another uh, live giveaway. Ronnie, Semper Fi. Hey, Ronnie, uh, are you a veteran? I, I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate your service and appreciate everyone's service in, in all branches of armed forces. So that's awesome. But uh, yeah, so if uh, again, if we don't hear anything back with uh, the giveaway, uh, I'll definitely make an announcement. Would love for you to make a hybrid snowblower. Yeah, hybrid snowblower. So I think I've seen their corded one and I think they have a 40 volt one, but I think Ryobi, the big tools like that, Ryobi should definitely make more hybrid tools. I think that's a, a, it's a, it's a huge want from the community that I've seen. So I love my, uh, I have, it's out of frame here, but I have my, uh, hybrid fan, the small one, the the $30 one, not the $140 one, um, and it's been great, so it's, it's awesome. Alrighty guys, so any, uh, let's see, hey Eddie, I tried to email, but don't see when I send you a message on my first. Twinco Products, oh hey, you know, I don't have a, uh, Rodney Marine Corps, hey, wow, that's awesome, thank you so much Rodney, I appreciate you uh, chiming in and, and letting us, letting the community know that. Uh, you served our great country, so thank you, Rodney. Um, I don't have a business email. Um, maybe I'll make one. I actually started an, an Instagram account, kind of like a Ryobi fan 
uh, page talking about, I think mostly posted about Ryobi days. And, and I think I was also putting uh, links to my video just to kind of spread the word and um, spread the word of the channel. So maybe we can continue growing. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys want to message me, um, I'll, I'll probably put my Instagram account in my channel uh, page. Usually there's like a little Instagram button that'll pop up so you can kind of go there. You guys can message me there. Um, I've been trying to use the community tab more often and sorry, some people have asked what the community tab is and it's basically kind of like a, um, like a social media feed and where uh, you can, I can post comments in between. So I try to give you guys some deal updates or just updates on the channel. So for conservator shouting out Rodney. Yeah, that's great. I appreciate that for conservator. So, Hey, Oh, Axel, th that reminds me of the heat gun. So the heat gun came out, um, but I don't think, let me double check Home Depot's website, but I posted on my community channel last week, I think last Friday, that the Ryobi heat gun had came had come out on Direct Tools factory outlet. Now, Direct Tools is a, they're Ryobi's official online outlet store, and actually they have physical stores all over, um, not all over the US. Uh, so when I go to the Home Depot website on mine, uh, okay, you know what, I think it is, let me see here. So it, it, for whatever reason, Home Depot website, the, the heat gun is available for $79, but it doesn't let me order it. It says pick up in store, unavailable, and then we'll deliver it to you, express delivery. So I think that's where they charge money. So um, as far as I know, I've seen a couple videos now where people posted uh, like unboxings and, and, and reviews, and that's coming from Direct Tools uh, Factory Outlet, I believe the full, excuse me, the full store name is, but it's available there. So they've already been shipping it out and uh, before even Home Depot. So that was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty exciting that Ryobi finally released the heat gun. I know that was a really popular product. What's the next tool? The grease gun? Yeah, Anthony, um, I want to say I saw Ryobi posts and maybe like their Facebook posts that the heat, uh, sorry, the grease gun should be coming out summer. And December 5 from the son of Sergeant Major. Clovis, hey. Thank you so much. Well, uh, give your dad our well wishes. We appreciate his service. Last guy got a Black & Decker heat gun. Cost me $25. Hey, you know, that's if it works for you, awesome. That's that's awesome here. Um, so, you know, we'll, when this this channel, 99% uh, is Ryobi, but, uh, you know, we're, we're never going to bad talk any other tools. So whatever fits the bill and, and gets the job done for everybody, that's, that's all that matters, really. Clovis done. Yeah, thank you for service. So if I miss any comments of anyone else uh, who's chimed in that they've served uh, in the armed forces, I appreciate it. Um, m much, much, much appreciated there. That's awesome. Last guy really wants the HK Engage Nailer. Well, I, it's on sale, 99 bucks. If that, you know, if that fits the budget, uh, that's a good time to buy. Um, and then unless you want to wait a little bit longer to um, like Black Friday, and Christmas time, I want to say last Black Friday, the Brad Naylor with a battery and charger was like $110. So that that was a really good deal. And I think that sold out online pretty quickly because uh, I, I think I saw it in store Black Friday for a few days online, same thing. And then it sold out and never came back online. So uh, if I see guy, if I see deals and stuff like that, I'll try to post it on the community page or community tab, put posts up there and uh, hopefully you guys can take advantage of those sales. Tom got it for 99 bucks. That's awesome. That's good to hear, Tom. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, Michael, I gotta catch them all. Gotta get all the Ryobi tools, just like Pokemon. Heck yeah. Uh, last guy, yeah, it's $99. Is there a brushless version 18 volt mower? Dustin, no, unfortunately there's not. Um, so far the 18 volt mowers are all brushed. The only brushless mowers I, that I'm aware of is the uh, the 40 volts, and that's the one I have. I have the 40 volt push mower, and uh, it's been great. So it's it's super powerful. I was a little hesitant jumping to the 40 volt platform. Uh, actually, no, I have the battery right here. So 40 volt. This is the five amp hour battery. It's it's pretty big. It's it's heavy. Um, kind of compared to my face, I have a big head, so you can kind of see the. Size comparison. Um, you know what I have? Let's see, I have a battery here. I have a two amp hour, 18 volt battery, and then this is the 40 volt. So a lot bigger, heavier, but you know it's going in a lawnmower, so you're not going to really feel it. But Axel loves his 40 volt lawnmower. Heck yeah, I love it too. 
Willie Logan, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for joining the chat, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Real B One Plus lights. Yeah, we can definitely talk that. So, um, probably one of the ones that I've been uh, eyeing, and probably for the Bogo offer, is the uh, is the hybrid light. Now, that one unfortunately is not the color changing light. That one is not included in it. But I, I'm really thinking of getting the the hybrid LED light, just the big giant floodlight. Uh, those are cool and you never know power outage um, parties camping whatever you need that extra lighting that's probably one of the uh, better options but the also the other one uh, that's available for the BOGO offer is the one that like um, I think they call it the workbench light where you can like fold it open so you can like have it laying flat across or you can have it like standing like I don't know how to explain it's like kind of like this or whatever uh, why color change? What is intended for? Oh, so the color change, um, I think it's probably, I mean, I think you can change it whatever to your liking, you know, probably easier on the eyes. But I think it also helps people like when they're looking at maybe painting, uh, depending on the color temperature of the light, you can uh, see paint in a better light or, or uh, get a better sense of how it's going to look. So that's one thing about the color changing light. And I think it is a little bit brighter than the standard non-color temperature uh, light guys make sure you register your tools and batteries just had a battery yes hey yeah always um register your tools super easy to do online um i haven't called to register my tools yet but i, I must i suppose it's pretty simple but uh yeah so get the serial number off the the product it's usually on the bottom of the battery or on like on the tool somewhere where the barcode is um make sure you get it warranted so uh three-year warranty uh for tools and uh, batteries I think the 40 volt stuff has a five year warranty if I remember correctly. So very important to get that stuff. Uh, but the lights, so we'll talk about the, the floodlight, the, the folding, Nathan Cunningham. Real B Rebels, hey, what's up Real B Rebels? So that's, uh, if you guys aren't familiar, that's a pretty popular Facebook group uh, run by uh, a friend of the channel, uh, David Nicholas or Real B Man Caver. Uh, there's really cool people on the Facebook ch uh, chat there as well. We're always exchanging. Uh, project builds, uh, deals we're getting, and just new new Ryobi tools, and yeah, just a place for Ryobi fans. So let's, let's see, Daniel Ryobi, you don't have to register. Lifetime service grant. So Daniel said, I think you don't have to register. Um, that may be so, but I want to say I saw a chat earlier that saying that someone um, didn't get help from Ryobi because they didn't register. So. I would err on the side of caution and just register just to just to be safe. Good tractor. Oh, okay. Talking to pork conserve. Yeah. Why I want to see if they come out with brush on someone. Gustavo. Yeah, no, that's a good point. The router. So, uh, yeah, I would say most brands out there have brushless routers nowadays. So, I don't see why Ryobi isn't gonna put one out there anytime soon. So, you know, I'm gonna do my best to kind of stay in the know with the Ryobi tools coming out. And um, I know one of the videos I posted, uh, I think late April about like new tools coming in and spring and stuff, we got really popular. So uh, you guys love that information. So I'm gonna definitely do my best uh, to do that. Last guy looking out for a new DeWalt router. Cool, yeah, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I think DeWalt does have a, a brushless router. So um, I'm not sure if, if Milwaukee has it. So Milwaukee is a sister brand to Ryobi. So if they have one, Hopefully it'll it'll come back down to real be you know low cost maybe they'll kind of skimp out on some materials and stuff like that so uh, more brushless tools is definitely needed so I know that was a big disappointment this year for for the Ryobi days the Bogo there weren't uh, any free brushless tools I think last year 2018 you could get the brushless uh, P238 impact driver and. I want to say something else. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know the brushless impact was a huge uh, free BOGO item last year. So I'm not sure how Ryobi uh, decided to, when is Ryobi coming out with a table saw? Uh, they have a table saw, but maybe if you're talking about like a battery power table saw, who knows? That would be cool. So I think bigger tools like that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, like they have the um, battery powered miter saw, brushless miter saw with two 18 volt batteries. I think if they started doing that more often, that that would be cool. Uh, okay, he's chatting with <clears throat> William Logan. Excuse me, while I get a drink of water here. <clears throat> uh, 
Rigid has a brushless rod. Yeah, Rigid. I, I always I feel so bad. I, I always forget about Rigid. Uh, kind of the the forgotten middle child of TTI. Um, well, at least for me, I, I know Rigid. If you guys are Rigid fans, you know that's great. Uh, I, I hope I'm not offending anyone, but um, I feel like uh, most of the YouTube channels out there definitely talk about Milwaukee, top of the line, and Ryobi, and then Rigid. You know, Rigid still gets some love. Um, I actually talked to one of the Milwaukee reps at my local Home Depot. And uh, he told me, he's like, yeah, Rigid's, uh, Rigid's struggling a little bit right now in terms of, I guess, sales. But um, that's awesome that Rigid already has a brushless router. So it, the technology is there uh, within TTI's own family. So it's just hopefully a matter of time before they bring that down to Ryobi. Tariff probably impacting brushless offer. Uh, yeah, uh, the tariffs, uh, you know, it's, it's an ugly situation. Um, it, it could be. It, it could be a number of factors that tariffs, it could be... Uh, so I, I, my personal gut feeling that Ryobi is probably not doing the brushes is that I think they're more looking for acquiring new customers. So maybe uh, people who aren't too familiar with tools. So maybe they don't know what brushless is or they think they've heard brushless, but it's the more expensive thing. Maybe they just don't need it. So I think maybe that's why Ryobi was just pushing all brush tools and um, they just want to acquire customers right now. And then eventually, you know, after you know they've been in the platform for a while, then they'll start upgrading to uh, brushless tools. But then they've already bought twice, so they brought the brush version, and then hopefully they buy the brushless version. So, I mean, in marketing um, marketing terms, I mean, I guess that's good for Ryobi because then they get two sales out of the same person. But uh, for us diehard fans and uh, people who like using our tools, uh, we we would want the brushless tools. Uh, Rigid Vacuum TTI, yes, Rigid is TTI. So. TTI has several brands out there, but uh, in terms of like uh, battery power tools uh, and quarter tools, um, Ryobi, Rigid, Milwaukee, I know are the three main TTI brands that uh, that are like under the same umbrella as TTI. So sister brands, brother brands, whatever you want to call them. But I know a lot of tools definitely share similarities. I think like the brushless jigsaw, um, I've seen some cool reviews that a lot of people compare it. The Ryobi brushless jigsaw is, is almost nearly identical to the brushless jigsaw from uh, Bridget. I'm all brushless Ryobi, the way to go. Howard, yeah, Howard, <laughs> all brushless Ryobi, that's awesome. New Craftsman tools are expensive. Last, yeah, you know, uh, um, not to go off, way off topic, but uh, Craftsman tools, brush tools, yeah, they're, they're up there. So uh, I, I thought, you know, uh, I thought when uh, Craftsman was coming out with new tools, at Lowe's, I'm like, oh shoot, you know, we're always gonna have some competition here, but not at their prices and not at their offering, like I would say only, mostly brush tools. So uh, if someone wants to compete with Ryobi, they have a lot of catching up to do. Got bought by Black & Decker, no longer made in the USA. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, Craftsman got bat bought by Stanley Black & Decker, uh, made overseas. Um, I think some tools are made in the USA. I think they're brushless impact, but uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Workings are getting the plow, okay. Hey, uh, I saw someone had to go, hey, thank you so much for joining the chat. Uh, no, no, that's great. So um, people coming in, I apologize if I haven't greeted you guys, but we're just kind of doing Thursday night Ryobi talk. Um, I think this might be a new, if you guys like this type of series or anything like that, uh, and you guys um, just, you know, shoot the shoot the breeze and and talk tools and Ryobi and everything like that. Uh, I'd love to uh, continue this Thursday night Ryobi talks. Let's see, Ridges are in orange. Tools are owned. Mentioned. Yes, you're right. Okay, um, I, I didn't see the person's last comment, but Rigid, I guess is our license is the name to TTI or something like that. But yeah, William Logan, good series. Okay, hey, yeah. Uh, I, I thought that sounded kind of cool. Thursday, you know, Ryobi Talk Thursdays, maybe? Ryobi Talk Thursdays. Ryobi Talk. RTT. Hey, just came up with that on the spot. So, uh, so and then you guys, um, so I'm in California, so it's 7.06 p.m. here uh, to my Midwest and East Coast uh, friends. I, it's, what, 10 o'clock uh, East Coast, 9 o'clock Midwest time. So I, I apologize, this is the, the best time that I could do this live stream chats uh, i don't get out of work until like 5 30 ish and then um traffic getting home and then family we gotta you know help with dinner dishes baths all that stuff for kids so this is the <laughs> this is the only time best time for me 
Um, but you guys are, um, you guys who actually get to join these live streams, I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy evenings and stuff like that. Purchase the 9 amp battery for real, the center quarter saw, it's a beast. Yeah, dude, and the, uh, yeah, the brushless resip saws with like the bigger like 6 amp and 9 amp battery batteries and like a really good quality blade. I personally have been using the Diablo, uh, this one here, Diablo 24 tooth. Um, these are, this thing's a beast. This is a monster, so it cuts through like butter. So that's awesome. Soluciones Electricas from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Wow, bienvenidos, amigo. Uh, I appreciate you coming. Diablo 40 tooth. Yeah, I haven't tried the, the 40 tooth uh, blades yet, so I know some of the projects I've done. Um, I've built some planter boxes and some some stuff for uh, my wife where I was helping her like build like uh, like wooden signs for teachers. Like it was, like last week or two was like Teacher Appreciation Week. And uh, hey, como estas? Um, so the, the 24 tooth, uh, I guess, did have an issue with like leaving splintering at the end of the cuts. So uh, I definitely think I should need to upgrade to like a 40 or 60 tooth, uh, a fine tooth blade to get those nice cleaner cuts. Only 10 p.m. Oh, that's cool. We're conservative. I appreciate that, bud. Um, it's only 10 p.m. So that's, that's awesome that you're hanging out with us here. Diablo blades over all other blades. Nathan Cunningham. Yeah, that's what I hear. Um, Diablo is good. So I actually picked up, so I have their circular saw blades and then I picked up um, recip, uh, recip saw blades as well. So, and I've been trying to get my dad onto <laughs> Diablo blades. He's mostly, so he has Makita tools, but he uses uh, uh, Milwaukee blades and he's had good luck with them, but I'm like telling him like, dad, you need to, you need to switch over to Diablo. It's, it's, it's the way to go. Hey, Ryobi King, what's up? King is here. Huh? No worries, but that's awesome. So Ryobi King, he also does a uh, Ryobi YouTube channel. He just came out with a, uh, a heat gun review, so check him out too. Diablo reset blades are the best. Last guy. Yeah, um, I've, I've loved them. So I actually had a metal fence uh, from the previous owner that was here uh, at the house. Really ugly black metal gate. It made it look like a haunted house or something like that. Dug it all out and then had to chop it up. And Diablo Blaze just chopped it up like butter. So it was it was super easy to cut up and, and get rid of and throw away. So um, since then, I've, I've just been sticking with Diablo. So that's that's what's really awesome. Uh, so I, we're up to, wow, 43 streamer, uh, people streaming. So that's, that's freaking great, guys. So anyone coming in, um, we're just hanging out. Reality Talk Thursdays, you heard it here first. That's what we're, we're calling this segment. So again, we're just talking Ryobi tools, people talking projects, uh, picked up what items you picked up for Ryobi days, BOGO, or if you haven't gotten it, you know, maybe you can give me your wish list and, and we can discuss uh, all the Ryobi tools and stuff, whatnot. So let's see what other comments we got here. And I just want to make sure you guys can hear me okay. Uh, you guys can see me okay. I actually um, was really lucky that one of my, hit that thumbs up. Yeah, Willie Logan. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, hell, yeah. Get, get the crowd all, all riled up and uh, supporting the channel there. Very good, very good, your videos. Amigo! <laughs> Gracias, soluciones eléctricas. Just bought the Diablo Reset Blaze yesterday. Yeah, oh, the Diablo Blaze. I think they're on sale, if I, if I remember. It's like a, like a kit. Uh, wait, is that Casino? Casino Man! Hey, you're here. Um, I don't know if you saw me uh, saw earlier, but I've been trying to reach, reach out to you for the uh, Home Depot gift card giveaway. If you haven't seen it, but you won last week. So... Um, go back to the giveaway video. I've commented on your comment a couple times. Um, please drop your, if you have a social media profile, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, please drop your profile page and we can um, DM and we can get your, I can get your contact information and mail you the prize. So uh, please, please uh, message me ASAP so I can mail you off the, uh, the Home Depot gift card. So Casino Man, uh, please, uh, I want to send it to you. So, And uh, since we did so well with that last giveaway, I definitely will be doing one uh, soon. Uh, maybe I'll do it before Ryobi Days ends. So if there's any uh, last minute deals that people haven't been able to pick up, or if you already bought something, you want to buy something else, then we'll definitely get that. Uh, maybe we'll do another giveaway for a gift card. Ryobi King, sorry, man. I didn't see your message. I'm, I'm going to see if I can scroll up. Oh, I can. Okay, sorry, guys. This is really weird. Going to be doing a project, going to be building a 50 caliber machine gun probably soon in the wood. Going to be filming it. Oh, cool. 
Real vanilla, great, and I still don't own one. The last guy, yeah. Um, last guy. There you go, 18 gauge Brad Naylor. This thing is so cool. And I got this uh, recondition from Direct Tools, which is like um, certified refurbished or whatever. Uh, it's been great. It's actually from 2018, so it's not it's a year old. I've put maybe a couple hundred nails through it, just um, make a small, like I made a birdhouse with the kids and um, some other small like frames for um, with my wife. It's been great. So uh, if you can afford it, the $99 new one, have to wait till next week. That's okay. No, no worries, man. Save your money. Uh, take your time. Right now, you know, it's going to be on sale. Hopefully, ninety nine bucks until um, until Rebu Days ends, uh, June nineteenth. So hopefully, you know, save your pennies and you can get it next week. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna definitely love it. Russell Sparks loves the Brad Naylor. Yep. Father's Day, man. It's what I'm waiting for. Yes, Father's Day, man. Oh. Uh, man, my wife and kids and, and parents are there like, what do you want for Father's Day? I'm like, everything. Which Ryobi chainsaw? Frank. Um, chainsaws, you know, I, I've never used one before. Um, I've, I've, the, the new 40 volt one, if you are okay going into the 40 volt line, uh, seems pretty awesome. Uh, but even the 18 volt uh, chainsaws for, for small uh, cuts, you know, small tree limbs, uh, maybe small stumps, I, I've heard it's pretty good. RH got the 15 gauge and it's a beast. That's awesome. Yeah. So I think for me, I think for like small projects around the house, um, I haven't done any molding or anything like that. I think, I think 18 gauge is good for molding. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't, I don't know if you need a pin nailer for that, but, uh, this guy's great. So I'll put this down. Ryobi King uses a stapler. Oh, cool. You got the new stapler. That's great. So, um, yeah, people building things. Uh, that thing is awesome. Last guy, deal alert. Uh oh, did I miss a deal alert? What's going on? Hold on. Two pack for about 140. Now they have a six amp two pack for fucked up the nine. Russell Sparks. Oh, you go to Ru oh Russell Sparks. Do you get uh, nails from Harbor Freight? I didn't know they sold Brad nails there. I'll check that out. Which really chainsaw? I haven't seen the 9 amp in my store, but just bought the 6 amp once you put the batteries. Man, you could feel the difference. Gustavo, yes. Dude, if you put the the HP batteries, I'm like 99% recommending them every time. Unless, I mean, unless you want to get the smaller ones to like, you know, save money or whatever. Uh, definitely. So don't mind my finger, guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to scroll through the chat here as best as I can. Brushless recip saw and 9 amp for 180 really where'd you see that last guy please comment i'd like to purchase a Ryobi van william logan yeah Ryobi brad nailer um that seems to be a really really popular item here father's day let's see i want the bogo deal with either the stapler or the planer i already ordered the Ryobi table saw which nathan that's cool man so father's day you want the stapler or the plan planer yeah um if you're into carpentry or woodworking, that planer seems like a really good, good item. So that's what I've been hearing. Um, I do minor little wood projects here and there. Uh, my brother-in-law is is a phenomenal carpenter, and so I know he uses uh, he uses hand planers. He, he likes kind of using like the more chisel and kind of old school hand tools, which is freaking just incredible. Um, but yeah, I know that's a, a pretty useful tool there. Charger included too. Home Deep. Oh, last guy. Okay. I'm going to see if I can pull that up here. So last guy I post said that there is a Ryobi Resip with a 9 amp and a... Hi! Oh, shoot. Hi. <laughs> Don't mind the little one there. Uh, let's see. Look for a 9 amp. Yeah. Wait, did you say 180, 190? I think I found it. Hold on. Tool. Multi tool, yeah. Shane Morales, yes. Multi tool is awesome. I love my multi tool. By the way, Home Depot is clearing out floor models. I got twenty five dollars off their two hundred dollar Ryobi power washer. Hey, RH, dude. Wow, great deal, dude. Oh, hey, last guy. I found it. Ryobi brushless recip nine amp and the fast charger, not the not, not the slow charger, but the green fast charger for one ninety. That's actually pretty good because I think I've seen the 9 amp 
So I think the Recip saw usually goes for like $99 when it's on sale. The 9 amp uh, was on sale, I think, for 80 bucks. So if you guys saw um, Toolboss, I think he posted like a deal where maybe a couple days ago, the 9 amp was 80 bucks. And then the fast charger by itself, I think, is like 30 to 50 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, last, you're getting the free, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, you're getting the charger for free at that point, yeah. So $189, you get the brushless recip, uh, nine amp hour, and the uh, fast charger for 190. So basically a free charger. So that's that's a steal. Uh, I mean, maybe not a steal, but it's it's definitely a good deal. So if you guys can afford that. And the, I do have the brushless reset. That thing, that's what I was mentioning earlier that um, I was chopping up that uh, the fence. I used the brushless reset. I'll go through, scroll through some comments here. Poor conservative kids are awesome. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, so they, you know, we're, we're filming live. This is raw, <laughs> unedited. So my, uh, my youngest little one there just came in and wanted to say hi. I already have the fast charge, just received the 9F for 80 today. I think the special is over now. William, yeah, uh, you know what, is it? I haven't checked to see if the 9 amp Ryobi battery is over. But that's great that you got it, though. E yeah, I'm showing I'm showing 139 for the, for the 9 amp hour on my end here, so that's a bummer. So, yeah, if you guys were able to get that, that, that wasn't bad. Um, still the best deal I've seen on the 9 amp. Well, I'm going to, yeah, it's back up to 139. Yeah, I just saw that now too. Two speaker radio is an absolute must with two pack. Hmm. I haven't used those uh, the score right the score wireless radios. I haven't used that. I use the show you if I can. Ah, I can't show you. I have the small portable little radio. Actually, it's it's you. What what I love about it is it's the, it has a little USB port that you can use to charge things, and I actually using it to power my my ring light here so that's pretty convenient are the fast chargers worth it um it depends i would say the sound is awesome from the speakers shines okay that's good to hear the fast charger i don't personally have um i want one it would be great i actually have uh three of the slow chargers um hanging on my wall so when I'm done, you know, using all the tools. Kim Nimbus, hey guys, hey, how you doing, Kim? I, I you know, I always see Kim in the comments, so I appreciate you hanging out with us here. Uh, Kim, um, we're just shooting the, shooting the breeze, talking real be tools here. So we're talking about the fast charger. I, I think it's worth it because you can definitely get back up and running if you are in a hurry or you're you know, working on a job or you just wanna, you know, get, quickly get your char batteries up, uh, back up to full charge again. But since I have three of the slow chargers, I can charge more batteries consistently or just more quantity. Um, I haven't really run into an issue where I need the fast charger, but just the out of convenience. I mean, yeah, if you can, if you can get it for free um, or just super cheap, I think I've seen Direct Tools uh, factory outlet sell like used or refurbished fast chargers for like 15 to 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, then heck yeah, that's a steal. You definitely want to get it. And also the uh, six battery supercharger. Uh, I know that's super popular. That I think sometimes goes on sale. Um, actually, I don't remember what it goes on sale for, but I know that's a, a super popular product there as well. And um, unfortunately, it charges one battery at a time, but you definitely can charge multiple at the same time or multiple at, all at once without you having to switch out. Well, so I let all my batteries when I start a project. I let all my bar batteries when I start. I start with battery A. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's uh, 70 bucks. Kim Nimbus, thank you for the supercharger information. Yeah. Got to get the six pack charger. Yeah, no, that's uh, the good point, Pete. That um, that definitely helps. Uh, just like, because I have three. I mean, I actually, you know, I'll show you guys real fast. That back wall back there, you can kind of see hanging three chargers. Uh, uh, and then most of the time I've only used, have, have only needed to use uh, two to charge them. I don't think I've ever used exhausted three batteries all at once, but um, it, it's cool to have. Let's see what other here. Last it takes forty minutes to charge a six o. Really? The fast charger can charge a six o forty minutes? That's dang. If that's if that's true, then that's that's stupid fast. I think. 
Uh, Russell, yeah. So, oh, I was, that's one question I want to ask. Do you guys uh, write on your batteries? Do people write? Um, if you're working like on a job site or anything, do you guys write write your name or like label them? Um, a B C or one two three. Uh, I, I I think I've done that. So I have three. I have three three amp batter. Three three amp hour batteries. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, I have two of the older P one ninety ones and then the new P one ninety five. You guys are familiar with my channel. Um, I have that one. So my two older ones, which are exactly the same size, I've labeled uh, one and two. And then, um, hell yeah, people are sneaky, man. Yeah, that sucks. I engrave them with the rotary tool. Yeah, there you go. You can use a rotary tool to engrave your name into them. That's awesome. I like the little crowns on mine. That tells me. Write your name and, and then the date you purchased. Yeah, that's awesome, RH. Yeah, so um, yeah, I, I know it's it's funny because I, I grew up with my dad. <clears throat> he worked in construction and he was an electrician for, for years and years growing up. So I know he would always tell me like people are always, you know, you got to be careful with your tools. So he would engrave. He had like a, one of those, I don't, I don't think it's like an electric pencil or something like just a maybe as a, I don't think it was a rotary tool, but he would engrave his initials all the time. So it's people, people suck, you know, they, people suck at steel crap. So he definitely got to label them and he tell me all the time he's like man you you leave one tool down five minutes you come back and it's gone so you got to be really careful on those job sites sometime uh let's see what kim said i labeled all my batteries and charges so i know when i bought it and when warranty expires yeah that's a good idea um you definitely want to be aware of when your uh warranty is going to expire so if you have any problems that you uh hopefully don't get uh declined a declined warranty offer so that's always important to to stay on top of last guy tools are expensive heck yeah man i mean even ryobi um you know ryobi being one of the one of the more uh, budget friendly uh um, brands out there you know to some people they can still be expensive like for me i you know i i can't always buy all the new stuff I, I try to but you know especially i'm gonna try my best for you guys to do more unboxings and reviews but uh, yeah i know tools can definitely be expensive Zephyl, register tools on the Ryobi website. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to re register them. Michael Lopez, I name all my batteries because I love them. Oh, do you name them like actually? You give them names like, hey, this one's John, this one's Eric, or this one's Ashley, or you just like ABC. <laughs> Nathan, I have a spreadsheet with all my Ryobi tools, serial, serial model number, when I bought and how much I paid for it. Dude, that's awesome. Nathan, man. I work on Excel um, a lot, so that uh, I, I appreciate <laughs> some some spreadsheet humor. That's awesome, buddy. In my opinion, Ryobi is the most expensive because they keep coming out with cool stuff <laughs> and pulse by. Yes, R8, dude, you hit the nail on the head right there. Yes, Ryobi is damn expensive because they keep coming out with some really cool tools, and um, you just you just want to buy them. Sometimes you might not even. I I think what did I buy? I can't remember i bought i bought something and i was thinking um uh what did i do it might have been the blower uh, i think it was like the blower this little one this little one i mean it was cheap you know i think 30 bucks but um i'm like man i'm gonna need that one day i don't know what but i'm gonna need it and um i've definitely found a use for it so i actually one of my favorite things is um, I have a charcoal uh, barbecue grill, and so like sometimes I'll use it to kind of blow some air and heat up the grill. But yeah, you you definitely gonna buy a tool just to have it, and you're always gonna need it that one day. Better to have it. What is the saying? Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Right. So that's that's what I try to tell my wife when I'm trying to buy new tools. Adam, hey everyone, hey Adam, how you doing, buddy? Me too. Agreed. Rh. Last guy. Rotary tool. Is that the name? Is this? Is that the name? Last guy. Uh, I'm not sure we're referring to, buddy. Uh, rotary tool. That is. Um, last guy. If you're unfamiliar, the rotary tool is a brand new tool that Rio came out with, um, probably within the last month or so, uh, and it is part of the uh, Bogo offer. So you can get that as a free tool if you buy the $99 kit. Uh, my next Ryobi will be the 18 plus, 18, uh, one plus grinder. That's awesome. Russell, are you getting the brushed or brushless? 
I see Rio of the Day special, but having all a hard time picking the free tool. William Logan, yeah, right? I know it's hard to pick one free tool. I mean, uh, again, no, there's no brushless tools, but um, the, the offerings weren't terrible. I mean, the, I, you know, some people, I, I posted that video, like, you know, not so great deals. Some weren't, but uh, I think, you know, for free tool, hell, it's a free tool. You might as well um, make the most of it. So, um, yeah, so I know big ticket items were the router, the inverter. I saw a lot of people getting, um, I, I got a lot of comments, but I want to say the inverter and router were probably the top two I, I was thinking. Oh, and the radio, the the $79 uh, job side Bluetooth radio. That was that was a big one too. So I, I think that radio is really cool. So I have the little radio, the like thirty forty dollar radio, uh, which I love. Half inch wrench is a good deal. Um, I don't recall seeing the half inch wrench uh, as a bogo. I know the three eighths inch wrench, which is also a new tool um, that Real be really recently released. That was part of the bogo deal. So um, William Logan thinking the radio. Yeah. Radio is cool, dude. Yeah, I mean, you, you, working outside, working with the tools, it's just uh, you put some good tunes on and just makes it so much better. And then if you just, when you're done, you can still sit back, relax, and have music playing, and, and it's awesome. Uh, Axel, Axel bought the plumbing snake, uh, uh, the auger, cool. Yesterday after I had a pipe blocked in my house yesterday. Axel, so yeah, buying the, the, the auger as opposed to getting a plumber saved you a ton of money, I bet. So that's Ryobi to the rescue, right? Three eighths inch, yeah, three eighths inch um, impact is available now for sure. All right, so what's the deal with people buying the BOGO deal and returning the batteries? They actually give you money back? Yeah, so I posted that in a video. Um, all right, so basically, and again, uh, I, I don't want to start a you know a war here or anything like that. Some people, you know. Uh, I don't know how to call it, but some people frown upon it. Uh, I'm not here to give my opinion on it, so you know, you know, let's try to keep it uh, civil here. So basically, RH is people will buy the $99 kit, they get a free tool, and basically the way Home Depot breaks out the pricing is like they prorate each item. So like it's $99 for both items, but what they basically do, they give you, they list the refund value of each item. So you buy the the kit, and let's say you buy the router. And basically, they drop the price of the battery kit to like um, 45 bucks, and then the other item 45 bucks. So, if you go return one of them, uh, you'll get that 45 dollar refund. And then basically, the free tool. So you return the batteries and the free tool, which is normally like I don't know, let's say 80 bucks, you get it for 45. So, I mean, Rio, um, Home Depot lists out the um, lists out the prices that way. So I mean, that's technically allowed, but. Yeah, some people, um, some people frown upon it. Casino man, drop. Yes, Casino man, awesome. You dropped your email. Okay, great. So I will definitely send you a message um, tonight, uh, if not first thing tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll get in touch to send you off that gift card. So awesome, dude. I'm so happy you you made the live chat. Uh, I was just telling people, and I'm like, man, if you don't if you don't reply soon, I might have to give it away to someone else. So I'm glad you're getting it. So that's great. Uh, let's see here. Do you think we'll get brushless impact that Australia got anytime soon? You know what? I, I don't know. Um, I want to say the brushless impact that's in Australia has lower torque than the, uh, U S version, the U S brush version. So that I found that bizarre. Uh, so hopefully they don't do that. Cause that's going to definitely angry some people. A brushless half inch impact that's weaker than the brush. That's going to, that's going to get some people upset. Uh, and Casino Man, yes, you're you're very welcome, buddy. Uh, I'm I'm glad to give it to you. I'm happy to. Um, so, guys, we're approaching 50 minutes, and you guys are still asking questions away. But you know what? I may I'm gonna start ending this chat now. Uh, I do have to get back to the family here, and uh, for my East Coast friends, at 10:30, uh, Midwest friends, it's 9:30. You guys have been wonderful um, this Thursday. Uh, what do we call it? Ryobi Talk Thursdays. Ryobi Talk Thursdays. This was a lot of fun, guys. Um, I was scared no one was going to show up or, or I wasn't going to get any questions. I'm just going to talk to myself. So you guys are awesome. Uh, to Cam Nimbus. Sorry, I'm just going to read the last question. Two six amp hours selling for 119 in DC, Maryland. 
Kim, I, I, I haven't seen that. The two uh, six amp hours for 120, I haven't seen that. I've only seen it for 139. So if you find it, yeah, spread the word. If you guys see um, some deals, let each other know. Help each other out. Ryobi King, see you later, dude. Casino man, keep this going every week. Yeah, if you guys like Ryobi Talk Thursdays, we'll, we'll definitely keep doing it. Timo, see you later. Guys, thank you so much. Hit the like, guys. Um, if you guys are new around here, hashtag RTT. Yes, Nathan, hashtag RTT. We're making it happen, buddy. Um, hit the like, guys. Subscribe. Um, share the channel if you guys can. Um, you know, we, we can continue growing and we can get more people involved, more tool deals, more uh, helping each other out, talking projects and whatnot. So I will wish you guys a great day. Um, happy Memorial Day to, um, to you know all our fallen veterans, uh, men and women of the armed uh, forces. Uh, if you guys know a veteran, thank a veteran. Um, tell them thank you um, for everything they've done for us. And uh, I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I probably won't post a video until after the weekend. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. You guys have a great night. Take care.